everyone and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time to visions by vbr on this channel we like to talk about entrepreneurship marketing and photography so if those any of those three subjects interest you definitely make sure you subscribe today we are going to be talking about ads so today i'm going to explain to you how to craft your ads with language that sells and i have five tips and i'm going to go ahead and give you a preview of them now so the first one is give value first the second one is why are you a credible source the third one is your product results in, in a smart format number four value focus for your pricing and number five time is of the essence so if those are things that interest you stay tuned we're going to be talking about those today all right let's get started so the first one that i have for you is give value first no one wants to just hear a sales pitch from you especially if they're not someone that you know if they don't know what you have to offer what makes you so credible what makes you what gives you the what knowledge do you have that you can use to help me if you're not helping someone to begin with they're not going to be likely to buy from you to stay with you to if you're only in it for the money and you're not in it to actually help people people notice that and it's a it's a definite barrier of entry for you it takes you a lot longer for you to be able to convert with them because you're by giving them value you build your trust factor because it's like wow they gave me so many amazing tips that I can't help but to think that they have more in that wonderful brain of theirs. So <laughs> giving value is definitely a way that you are, that you can build that trust factor to prove your worth to up your conversions, okay? So number two, why are you a credible source? Okay, so after the section where you've given them the value, you've given them something, an actionable step that they can take home or one tool, one exercise that they can learn, whatever you're selling, you need to be able to have a piece of that that you can give away for free, right? Then the second part of it is why are you a credible source? So after you give them the value, you're going to then introduce yourself and say hey my name is tori <laughs> and i am you know where you come from um what got you started in the industry but most important thing is why do you do it who are you here to help what gives people that feeling that they can trust you so and that they know you so you want to go back to that hero's journey that I refer to so much about what were your struggles? Um, how did you overcome them? You need to show yourself, position yourself in the position of the hero as I have overcome this. How can you overcome this as well? Okay. So the third tip that I have for you in the language that sells, and this is all in one ad. So these are the five different parts that you're going to have in your one ad that is going to help people convert with you. Okay. So the number third tip that I have for you is sell the product results in the smart format. So I'm not sure if you guys seen the other video that I did about smart formats. Um, if not, go ahead and click that. I'll, I'll leave a, a link in it so we can talk about that a little more. But the product results, the results of your product need to be specific, measurable, attainable. The reward that they get for getting to that point and the time frame that they did it in. Any results that you're claiming that you can have need to have those five different topics so that it makes sense it clicks and it actually convinces the person like oh yeah okay i understand exactly what that is and i know what i'm going to get from it and now i want to buy it because a very smart person once told me that a confused mind never buys so if they're knowing exactly what they're getting 
exactly what the value is, how long they can do it in, that gives them reason to say, hmm, okay, yeah, it sounds like something I'm interested in. I wanna convert. So the fourth tip that I have is value focused for your pricing. So one store that is really awesome with this is Ross, Dress for Less. So if you guys are in America, you might have seen this store, but I'll go ahead and give you an example. In Ross, Dress for Less, on their, in their, um, anytime they're selling you something, they have the comparable value versus your price. So you see this model very often, but it actually works because you've already shown how, what the product can do, how they can do it, you know, the rewards that they'll get from it. And now you're here to offer it to them at an amazing value. So that alone, and, and generally the value, you want it to be about 50% uh, more than what the price that you're paying so that it seems um so that the numbers are like wow oh my gosh today oh this is normally five hundred dollars but today i'm only gonna give it to you for five dollars they're like what how oh my gosh that's so crazy i mean i'm getting a steal i have to buy it you know and then the fifth tip it goes right along into it the fifth tip is time is of the essence so that value is going to help you get your conversions in the right away scheme because it's like for now for this week for two weeks only you know until we sell out we're going to be running this amazing sale that you'll never see again in your life right so those type of things time is of the essence you need to have that time frame of why you need to do it because if you've got all the way through it you've you given i've given you value I've told you why I'm incredible. I've explained to you the product, the things that you'll get from the product. Is this an earthquake right now? The things that you'll get from the product and the, the time is going to be that key factor to get them to convert right now. So there needs to be some type of limited time offer, um, one time only, today only, two weeks only. There needs to be some type of cutoff for this sale so that they're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I have to do it now, okay? So those are the five tips that I have for you on how to create an ad with language that sells. So I hope you guys can start using those today. So if this helped you, go ahead and leave a comment with any questions or anything that you have, and I love engaging with you guys. So I'm looking forward to reading the comments. Make sure you subscribe. We upload every single week new videos about marketing, entrepreneurship, and, and photography. So looking forward to seeing you guys soon.